Hannah and John, um, the Wilmer Philharmonic Orchestra is making its debut, mm -hmm. Civic Hall. Big step. Yes, it's um, been over a year's worth of planning into it. Um, it's based on when last time you interviewed me, my CD was coming out and on iTunes. And based on the sales of that, I've always wanted my own orchestra. And John's always wanted to conduct his own exactly. orchestra. So, so now I get a chance. Yeah. 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 And we've auditioned throughout Europe, we've all over England, even locally, and we've found the best of the best through YouTube videos they've sent to us. Some auditioned live, um, we did that over the summer, and we've got basically the best musicians. It's a very light, fun programme. Absolutely, so it should be accessible to we, all. Yeah, and they're flying even from Italy here, and they'll be there live on the 20th of February at the Civic Hall. So it looks like a huge amount of preparation. Yes, yeah. Is it a step into the unknown? What do you think of it? To a certain extent, yes, because many local groups rehearse on a weekly basis. This one is an orchestra of professionals convened for the occasion. Mm -hmm. So I shall try to do my best to get everything running smoothly. Limited amounts of rehearsal time. On a, on a, yeah, on a limited amount of rehearsal time. But the exciting thing is that the performers are all very good. We've seen them all perform yeah. and we've heard them on their auditions. They've got all the music, they're all practicing now in their various locations but they'll be brought together on the day so also we're doing food. Oh yeah there are more dimensions to it than, than just a concert if you like, it should be a production. Yeah. With food. Yeah we're uh, basically um, I, I feel that for families or couples or people who don't like classical music it'd be nice from like Ronnie Scott's to be able to go there and eat a free course meal, dine, sit in luxury on round tables of weighted service while watching the concert itself, they yeah. get to dine and eat and chat. There is a normal seating option. Yes, as well. the, the tiered seating at the back, so they can either do the, the sort of less pricey version, which is tiered seating, normal style, or you can have food, and there's even a VIP package where it's drinks with the conductor afterwards. Um. <laughs> yeah, but it really and is something yes. new, as far as I know, it's something yeah, new I for this area. Learned. So we tend to have formal concerts or very light concerts, school concerts or amateur groups getting together, mm. but this one should run with a real yeah. bit of flair, you know. And there's so a few other surprises there as well. And a few others. Yeah. <laughs> well, Hannah's a soloist too, so. <laughs> And she's known for her recording of the live ascending, so now I get the <laughs> pleasure of conducting. I'll be performing live ascending on yeah, live as well, yeah. so. So who's in charge of this? Oh, that's hard to say, <laughs> on the night it's me. But the backstage crew are doing their job. Yeah, we, Similarly, the catering staff do theirs. Yeah, I think Wayne actually, who I don't know if he wants to be mentioned live, is probably the one who holds all the strings together. He's our manager. That's right. So it's the, well, I think from the time when the curtain opens, obviously it's the man on the stage, it's the, the conductor. Uh, yes. But uh, the backstage side, like a good show, depends on a good manager and getting everybody on the stage at the right time. And we, I think it's quite democratic between us all. Choosing oh, yeah. musicians, we, we really made, made sure that we all... Yeah, like we all had a say in it and we've had we all did our own private do. votes and then we had to do it. Well, I think as well, the choice of the programme is something we did together yes. as well. So we're picking, you know, our own favourites, but we yes. hope they're things that will appeal to a wider public there's, as well. There's so. a theme of countries actually, isn't there? Yeah. In the starters, it's mainly Russian, isn't it? Or That's Eastern right. European. Go through Eastern European, yeah. And then the mains is yeah. British, very much British. Yeah. It has to be British because there's a Scottish one. And then um, desserts is light-hearted Viennese. Yeah. Waltzes and um, things like that. Yeah. And a sailor's hornpipe then there. <laughs> so we hope people find it accessible. They're not going to be put off by the title Philharmonic Orchestra. They're going yeah. to come along for an evening's yeah. entertainment. So have the actual orchestra rehearsed together yet, or is this the world of, of you sort of YouTube and, and speaking through Skype, etc.? <laughs> no, they've not rehearsed at all together, but um, they've all been given the music. There's technical things like Boeing's, um, it's, you know, how to do, you both have to move together. That's all been our leader, someone else, Abigail yeah. Dance, we should mention her. Yes. She's bowed all the parts out already. They've been given out by email and by post. Um, all tempo markings, they, you know, that's the speed and where the speed change have been sent out. There will be sent videos of John's conducting and cues already via the internet, so it will be meeting on the day, but with a lot of preparation beforehand. Yeah, so it's in, really, it's in tradition of professional music making, so that they come together on the day. Yeah. They should be of a sufficient calibre to play it through. We, yeah, we, yeah. We're pretty convinced that they'll be able they, to do it. They'll be fine. And, uh, 
you know, if they know their stuff, if they've done their homework, it should all Well, and also the wheel's quite clever. We did the audition process with the most difficult bits of the repertoire, all the solo bits and things. They had to play for audition, so we kind of know how they're playing already. And I shouldn't think there'd be anybody sitting there who doesn't know the majority of the works. Even if you don't know the names, if you know nothing about classical music at all, these... All the pieces are so famous, you must have heard them on an alpha. Summer is used on a football. Yeah. For one of the World Cups before, and most of it is so well known. So I think the players will settle into that quite yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. And it's one of our international, well, I've played a lot abroad and done a little bit of conducting abroad as well. And one of our reputations in this country is our fantastic sight reading, you know? Yeah, yeah. But these people will be doing a bit more than that as they've already played it, you yes, know? Yes, they're, they're well known pieces. I mean, it's something we do very well. We we're confident, but I think it will give it an edge as well. Keep us all on our toes. It won't be, it won't be a tired orchestra who, oh, they've done this for the 18th time. <laughs> so it'll be hard for you, Hannah, because I imagine usually you just have to think about yourself. Mm -hmm. so, but now you've got to really think about lots of other things. Um, I did make it easier for myself using some a piece that's try and tested with Lark. Also, it's hard to know until day. It probably is a bit nerve wracking, but. I've worked extensively with John. Most of uh, we've been working through the conducting of it with Daniel, my pianist. We've yeah. um, been practicing and practicing and practicing. So John has a, knows my ideas. He knows my directions and the moods. And I think we know the pieces well enough that he, that you know. It, hopefully, I'm not too nervous about it. Because <laughs> as a conductor, yeah, you've always got to be prepared for things happening on the night. So somebody might drop them a load of plates in the background or something, <laughs> but you, you focus on the music and we, we keep going regardless, you know what I mean? That's fine.